Hi, today we're going to talk about expression bodied members. So expression body members, they've been around. They were a yeah. few in uh, C-sharp 6, mm -hmm. and this is the little equal sign greater than operator. Yeah. And uh, so you can more easily declare um, single line expressions, but we could only use it for methods and read-only properties. Yeah. So what's new in C Sharp 7? So C Sharp 7 introduced, expanded the scope of where you can apply them. So you can use now on constructors, finalizers, uh, and get and set accessors on properties and indexers. Ooh, let's see what that looks like. Okay. So here I have a class that have a few of the examples of where, what I was just talking about. So this is the old syntax without an expression body member. Um, and so Visual Studio pops this little quick action icon that I can just use it to transform into an expression body member. Cool. So it will transform that single line expression and use the equal greater sign here. Mm -hmm. um, I have my, dis my finalizer here. Um, and then I can apply the same logic here. So I'll use the keyboard now, control uh, period uh, to get that. Uh, transformation I can preview changes and I'll use that for the get accessor as well um, and so it makes it a cleaner code as oh you definitely can see. gets rid of some extra curly braces and yeah. white space we don't really need cool. exactly so if I wanted to learn more about expression body members where would I go uh, so docs.microsoft.com has a guide um, that explains all about expression body members when they were introduced and where you can use them great all right, so use expression body members to more easily declare um, members that have only a single line expression inside of them. Yeah, and thanks to the community for implementing those features in C Sharp 7. Right, so that came from the community. Awesome. Thanks for watching.